Yo guys, what's going on? It's Matt Skega, and I'm going to be talking about something a little unorthodox today, and that is uh, lying, as you can probably uh, tell from the title. But um, basically, I've been kind of uh, interested in uh, this uh, psychology stuff lately, and uh, I don't know if it's just some, like, one of those uh, just phases that's going to pass, but uh, generally, I mean, I like getting inside people's heads. I like knowing what they're thinking. I like... Uh, being able to also implement that own unpredictability, unpredictability, probably unpredictability into my own uh, lifestyle, kind of, and uh, so I'm going to be talking about um, how to like tell if someone's lying, but also um, how to become a better liar, because the things I'm going to say are obviously interchangeable, like if you can tell if someone's lying, you can implement that into your own actions or lack of actions and uh, make yourself a better liar. I don't know if you're talking, you're lying to your parents, your friend, your teacher, I really don't give a shit, but uh, like I said, this is just kind of something I've been interested in. So uh, here we go. All right, I've been doing some research and um, you know, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of people say that these things are just kind of um, like very vague or n not true at all but um most uh sites that i've found and like professional consultants that uh like these sites um will uh site <laughs> well um yeah th they pretty much agree on most of these things and a lot of these are just very general things obviously it's going to vary from person to person and uh, i just want to preface that with um Obviously, these aren't 100% accurate, but I mean, a lot of the times you can pick up certain patterns in people, and uh, that, and a lot of times you can just tell that something's off too. But you can kind of just like maybe use these and start to see a pattern or something, and uh, you know, just just better yourself and like your sense of awareness towards this kind of stuff. And uh, you definitely shouldn't use it. Like if you have a friend that. Uh, does any of these things when he's talking to you be like oh my god you're a liar and then just call him out on it and then start some huge fight over it and uh, definitely do some background research um, into the subject don't just uh, assume something and um, also one of the main points is establish a baseline meaning you don't want to just try to implement these things with random people off the streets like try to get to know the person first like know if the person's like generally like a twitchy person or uh, n like nervous when they're talking or something like that because uh, I mean you don't want to start using these things and say oh he's uh, like twitching or he seems uncomfortable like that could just be their normal um, like their normal way of communicating or whatever so you just gotta know the person you're dealing with but uh, here let's start with the first thing um, emotional ge gestures um, a lot of people well, like, if they're telling a lie, say, just, like, a very generic lie, like, you get a sweater for your birthday, and, like, a lot of people probably don't like getting sweaters for their birthday, so, uh, but you get it from, like, your aunt or something, and you're not gonna say, like, oh my god, I fucking hate this, what the hell's wrong with you, you're just gonna stand up and smile and say, oh, thanks, I love it, and give her a hug or something, say, just, like, you know, but, um, generally, like, if a person's lying like that, they're gonna say they like it or um, make some kind of verbal expression towards them liking it before or after just it would be in an unsynchronized fashion uh, with them actually making um, physical gestures like smiling or their eyes lighting up something like that and a lot of people can't fake eye movements but you can fake a smile so if you see someone that's like smiling and their eyes just look pretty uh, like fake or whatever and their just, eyes are just unfazed, that's a pretty good sign of someone telling a lie. And also, if someone's saying, I love it, and then it takes them a second to start smiling, or it just looks kind of like a fake forced smile, uh, that's a pretty, um, like, telltale sign. Um, also going along with, uh, like, gestures and stuff, um, eyes are often attributed with this kind of stuff. Um, a lot of people have different uh, views on this, but generally, um, when you're looking 
up and to the right, and I believe this is like the person's right, so when you're looking at them, it would be their left. So they, these are things that they're remembering. So um, when they're looking up and to the right, that would, uh, like, that's actually something that they are, rem like, that they have done. Like, if you say, uh, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? Maybe someone will look up, like, in that direction and say, oh, I had uh, cereal. That means they're remembering something, but generally if they look in the opposite way of that to their left, that means that they're trying to create some, uh, like, figmented or like some fake story generally like um like say your mom is like oh what did you have for breakfast this morning and you know she's gonna get pissed off at you if you said you didn't have breakfast so then you like as you're fabricating a story you might just naturally like look up in that direction and uh just be like oh yeah i had waffles or something like that and um looking down generally down in like not normally straight down, but like down and to the right or down and to the left is generally a um, a signal of like guilt or they know they've done something wrong. So they just kind of look down in shame because they don't want to really look at the person. And also eyes um, going along with if you're talking to someone. Uh, a lot of people when they're lying find it uh, very difficult to... Um, like keep direct eye contact with a person as you normally would when you are um, just telling, just talking or anything like that. And um, yeah, so those are eyes. And then, um, like I said before, there's other um, like physical things that you can do. Like uh, you might like start like kind of curling your hands up like into a fist or something. You, like they might just look nervous, like maybe they're sweating. Uh, stuff like that they could just kind of be shifting in their chair or sitting sideways on their chair like in kind of an uncomfortable position or even like leaning back kind of slouched like uh, they're just trying to relax uh, stuff like that and these are all pretty uh, generic signs and um, let's see what else then oh yeah and uh, a lot of times if you're talking to someone and you think they're lying you can try to change the subject because, um, like, say, again, you're talking to your parents and they're like, oh, what did you get on that uh, history test you had? And, like, you got, like, a D or something. Um, you'll be like, oh, I didn't really do too well. And then, uh, like, maybe you could they could just change the subject to, to be like, oh, what do you want for dinner? Like, you're just, like, driving by a restaurant or something. And then they'll be very uh, inclined. The person that's lying will be or trying to avoid telling something will be very inclined to um, like just skip the topic that they're talking about and go to the next topic because the other person is voluntarily offering them a way out of that scenario and uh, so generally if a person is very antsy to avoid the topic that you're talking about and try to move on to the next one uh, that's a pretty good sign too also people try to use um, like a sarcastic tone or just try to be funny about something or even like restate the question uh, like when you ask them something like uh, like I don't know what are you what are you watching on TV You'd be like oh I'm watching something instead of just saying it like cuz they're trying to first of all they're it's kind of like a way to buy time in coming up with an excuse and it's also just uh, I don't know to in their eyes it just makes it sound better or something and people also use humor, like they'll start joking and stuff, and they'll try to take their time, and uh, they'll just trying to go at it in a roundabout way, taking as long as possible. And uh, the last thing is, generally, you want to search for any kind of contradiction. Um, like if they say, "Yeah, I went to John's house uh, last Friday," and then you find out that. Uh, like later on they say oh yeah last Friday I was doing blah 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 you'd be like wait I thought you were at John's house or uh, like when did uh, like when did that kid bully you at school or something be like oh it was uh, the 10th and you'd be like well the 10th was a Sunday like what are you talking about uh, so just look for things like that that uh, a lot of people when they're just making bullshit up they think you're not gonna look very into it and 
Um, you just kind of have to see past that and maybe do a little bit of research. Obviously, this takes uh, practice, and it's not going to be right 100% of the time, like I said, but a lot of these things, a lot of just, like, average people that you're talking to probably will exhibit um, while they're in the process of lying. And um, also, just, like I said, make sure you know the person and uh, be comfortable around them. And don't make it look like you are trying to instigate anything. Just try to make it look like you're having a normal conversation. Don't be too pressy or like make it make them feel uncomfortable because then they're gonna then they're gonna know that you're prodding for information. Uh, rather, just ask casual questions or just talk to them in a normal way, depending on the scenario. And don't see don't go about it in an accusatory fashion. Um. Oh yeah, the um. A lot of times, if a person has nothing to hide, and you're kind of prodding for information, they're going to be a lot more, uh, like, they're going to go on the offensive. Like, if you're just trying to figure something out, and they can kind of tell that you think something's off, they're going to start backlashing at you, saying, like, why do you think this is wrong, why do you think this is wrong, and then start going at you, like, questioning you. So they're going to turn it around on you. Um, and generally a person that's lying is going to go on the defensive like trying to protect themselves because they do have something to hide and they're trying to cover it up uh, as opposed to someone that's someone that's innocent they will just get offended by that and start attacking you um, alright guys I hope that you enjoyed this video maybe you learned something uh, half of you guys are probably like oh cool and half of you guys are probably like what the fuck are you talking about and uh, but I'm gonna go watch some uh, Thursday night football and I will see you guys later